Hello YouTube, welcome to the flight deck. Today we're in the uh, Bombardier, there we go, Dash 8. Um, we are at Skiathos, which is well known for being the European St. Martin. Um, and we're going to go to Corfu. Don't think, as far as I know, it's a real flight. Um, but it's a new aircraft, two new airports, so I want to give it a go. <coughs> Right, let's get this started. I'm not 100% familiar with this yet. I've had a couple of hours to get used to it, so I'm going to put a video up today, so we'll see what happens. It probably won't be perfect. In fact, it won't be perfect. Let's get that one straight. Okay. All this off. Mission started to normal. We'll start engine number two first. We'll probably taxi out on just one engine, which I've seen them do at Eastman's Airport numerous times. Seems to be a little thing that Flyby seem to do. Okay, we'll turn this on, and we'll turn this on. Parking brakes on. That needs to come down to start. Put the guard on. <coughs> right. Let's just have a quick look, make sure everything's okie dokie up here. Right, let's fasten seatbelt signs on. Okay, they're armed. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so that's all working fine. We get some lights on, nothing crazy though, because it's not completely dark yet. It is dusk. All the flights I've done have been in the day, so I thought I'd do a dusk time one. Why not? So I'm pretty sure... Right, we need to go to... Go to... Aha, right. We'll accept that. All right, dating is changing, that's fine. Oops. Alright. Except, don't know why it wouldn't work in that view. Okay, whilst we're here, we'll get cabin announcements on. We can welcome everyone on board. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and set this up. Although, to be fair, I haven't got a 100% clue what I'm doing. Oops. LGSK. Enter. Accept. Right, okay, and we're going to Lima Golf Kilo Romeo. Bang. Put that in there. NX. I don't know what this means. I need to read the manual, really, but I was that desperate to just get in and fly, and I thought I'd do a video. Why not? Two really good airports. We've got Aerosoft Skiathos, and we're flying into Fly Tampa's Corfu. Two really nice, smart airports. Um. Right, flight plan. Now I'm gonna have to. Ah, was that. No, I can't do that. Right, okay, so we're Lima, Golf, Sierra, Kilo, Bang. Set that. Uh, next one is. Can't remember. What we're gonna have to do is go to flight plan, edit what we've got in here, right. A G H Y N N and K R K. A G H. Yep. Yankee November November. Now I am rushing through this because obviously I don't really know what I'm doing with this aircraft quite yet. And I know that isn't how I normally do my videos, but I want to get this done. I've not done a video for two weeks. So we're just going to get on with it. Okay, and we're going to Lima. Golf. Right, there we go. Whack that in there. I'm sure it's KR. I'm sure. Yes. Right, that's right. Okay, that's fine. Perfs. Don't know any of the onboard data. This all needs to be sorted out, really. I need to learn this aircraft. Once I've learned this aircraft, I will be doing shed cockpits. Hopefully. That I'm looking forward to. That is pretty cool. All right. TCAS. Can't get it to work. I don't know why. FMS. FMS. TCAS is off. Can't get it to turn on. Obviously doing something wrong. don't know what that is. Weather radar's off. Weather radar. 
put it on test, see what happens. doing its sweep. Let's just turn it on. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's start engines and we'll rock and roll. <coughs> okay, starting number two. Hopefully, as long as I've done everything right, we are starting engine number two. Everything's coming up. Lights have just come on. We may well be landing in the dark. I think it's about a 45 minute flight, so we'll see. Okay, let's get the safety announcement on the go, shall we? If I can remember how you do it. Cabin, there we go. Safety announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have your attention to the international safety regulations. Okay, engine 2 stabilised. I think for the sake of me not 100% knowing what I'm going to do, I'm going to start engine number 1 and we'll taxi out as normal. Anti-skid needs to come on. Nice little shadow there from the sun setting on there. Landing flat will be on 15. Oh, that lights up. That's quite cool, isn't it? Not, not, not noticed that before. Okay. Right, that can come off now. Oh, need that on. Packs can come on. Alright, what warning signs have we got up here? Pito heat. Uh, on. Window heat can now come off. Okay, let's go. We might get a few, <laughs> few problems due to the fact that I don't. There's obviously something I'm missing here because I've got warnings still on here. Uh, parking brake set. That's fine. Left us right through us. Uh, pito heat one and two. Ice detect failure. Pito heat standby. I'm not sure if these need to be on or not. Oops. Oh. Okay, right, taxi lights on, wing inspection lights on. I'm pretty sure that's everything, so we'll start taxi on out. Minimum, oh, give ourselves five flaps. Aha, there we go, they're all gone now, brilliant. Right, we're getting the hang of it, I reckon. This thing sounds awesome. I've never been, believe it or not, on a propped aircraft in my life, other than a light aircraft. I've not been on a jet like this. And that is loud. Lights are amazing. I've not flown this thing at night time yet. Right, OK, 
Okay, so we're about to go onto the runway, so we we'll turn that on. So our strobe light should be on now, yep. Okay, so there's taxi this thing, we can either use the tiller down here with the mouse or left and right on, on your joystick or yoke, whatever you've got. Right, so flight time is roughly 45 minutes. So we should take off and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can land this thing. I've done two landings in it. Both have been okay. Nothing spectacular. Nothing to brag about. But it's a new aircraft to me. I love the sound of it. And so far I'm really, really impressed. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. Looking forward to arriving in uh, Corfu. Okay, let's double check. Flaps are set at five. We also need to turn the engine RPM up to full in a minute so get maximum power for takeoff. Autopilot on this. <clears throat> That's a learning curve in itself. I've not touched it yet so we'll find out when we're in the air how that all works. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Right then, put these onto full. Right, this will give us everything that the engines have got. I think we're good to go. No, we're not. Landing lights on. Taxi lights off. Oh dear. Just put a quick call through. Seats for takeoff. Okay, I've said my piece. Seats for departure. <coughs> and let's get out of here. I've ATC in my head right now. And gently raises the air. Off we go. Gear up, positive rate. Okay, so this isn't like a, a Boeing 737 or an Airbus where you've got your nav one and whatnot. And there's some strong cloud over there, so but it's alright because we're going around to the left. Oh, that's not annoying. Go away. Try and bring the nose down a little bit here. Try and trim her off a little bit. There we go. It's a very aggressive climb. Okay, flaps up. And that's Skathos. Until next time. Okay, I think we've pretty much got a trimmed off now. Right, okay, nav source. Nav source must be FMS, so by right, VNAV, autopilot, and VNAV. Right, what is that doing? Wings level, pitch hold, okay, um, course. Oh, heading. 
seems to match that one, which is about there. Two seven six. Let's just see if it intercepts this first. If it does, brilliant. If it doesn't, never mind. Altitude. Are we on VNAV? This is the question I need to know right now. LNAV. Right, okay. Will this work? Will this intercept the direction I want to go? We have a weather alert for something. Definitely more interested in learning new things. Right. Are you going to turn and intercept this now? Slight. We captured. It's lit up, so I'm assuming so. I think we might be, you know. I think we might be. Yes, I think we are. Right, oh, it does work similar. <coughs> right, okay, let's go down into the flight plan then. Now that this is all set up and we will set up. Uh, flight plan. We'll set up our altitudes. We're going to fly it 21,000 feet. We'll put in there. 21. Do, do, do. Bang. 21. Zero, zero, zero. Bang. Uh, okay, okay. Probably bring it down to about 13,000 by the time we get there. It's 12 miles, no, less than that. 7,000. Okay, great. So, what we got here? Uh, far away from our Why destination but now? we're just about to hit a storm. A big one. Something going a bit of turbulence for the last five or ten minutes. Like and there's one hell of a lightning storm going on below. If we just zoom out on here a little bit right, you'll see there. on the weather radar it's actually pur hopefully it's actually purple in the middle of that. No. <clears throat> when it was a bit closer a few minutes ago you could see in the middle of that storm was purple, flashing purple, which I've never seen on a weather radar before, so it must be quite aggressive. But we are being thrown around like a bit of a rag doll, but we'll keep going. We're not that far away from where we need to be. Round about 50 miles to go, I think. Okay, storm lighting, why not? Because we can, because it's stormy. Oh, 
panic. I mean, he's thinking about dropping down to probably a lower altitude here, which is amazing because he doesn't have to do it. Uh, resetting itself. I don't know why. Am I doing something wrong? I must be doing something wrong. Hmm. Right, okay, I think the best thing to do here then. Is we'll disconnect that ourselves. Oh bloody hell. What's going on there? Okay and we'll start our descent. Pretty aggressive. I'm just about to run through the middle of this storm, which isn't great. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. Awesome. Oxygen masks. I think we might need those because this could be pretty rough. Oh. What's this? The calm before the storm because it's very, very smooth at the moment. <coughs> It's like that storm's just completely disappeared. It's not on the weather radar anymore. There's still lightning going on, but I don't know. That's um, that's strange. Some ice on the engines there. This aircraft does simulate icing up. That was a good shot actually. <laughs> right then. So the airport is at our one o'clock ish or half past twelve. Um problem I have is I don't know the runway headings. This has got to be my most amateur video I think I've ever done on flight simulator or prepared whichever. We are in prepared today. As you can tell by the menu, look slightly different. In fact, whilst I've got that up, let's have a quick look and see what heading this runway is on, shall we? Hello. There we go. Okay. Right, here we go. So runway. The. Uh, 35 for us, I think. Runway 35, QNH 1010. Light clouds, temperature 30 degrees, very nice. I wish it was here. Dew point 20 degrees, visibility 50 kilometers. Right, okay then. So, 35. No. Okay, that would have been bad. I'd have been furious. Okay, so 35. No, yes, 350 is the course we want. ILS, say 360 on there. Oh, that's right. 350. Not paying attention. 
starting to get a bit rough again, I think, on the outskirts of that storm. Bloody hell. And Ireland are currently one up against France. Great news. After Thierry Henry's little cheating handball a few years ago. Should we just quickly get that up again? Let's get that up and have a look at the ILS frequency. If there is one, I'm sure there will, will be. ILS, ILS, ILS. No. Okay, great. Awesome. Orbit's lights kicking into effect. Still not as good as X-planes though, are they? Let's be honest. X-plane night textures are unreal. Each light's individual, which to me is just amazing. Okay, so what we're looking at now, 20 miles out, to our right hand side, I would not want to be flying this in real life, this is rough, some serious storms on in uh, Greece, nor would I want to be on this plane. <coughs> Half six. I wish the sun went down here at half six. It's far too light. Ten o'clock at night, the sun's still out. It's not good. Okay, so one thing I will be doing, I can assure you, before the next flight of the Dash 8, is learn how to use the FMC and the autopilot. It's quite frankly, don't have a clue. There's a few things on here I need to have a look at. Um, but it'll be good, I was just desperate to fly this today, and it's Sunday, and it's the day I'm at the video, so I kind of just bit the bullet and went, you know what? I'm going to throw myself in the deep end with this one. Right, so the airport is over there somewhere, I think. level off here, if we can, that'll do, smooth off now, we're down to this height. Turn that storm light off now, because it's very bright, I don't like it. That's better. Is that the airport? Yeah, I believe so. That is the airport. So we'll bank over to the left now. Lose a bit more height. It's a lot different, and I'm glad we're not going that far. Look at that weather radar. That's vile. That's disgusting. We'd not want to fly through that. Oh, it's gone green now. It's a very short flight. Not a very smooth one, but a short one. What's that on top of that mountain? Is it a TV dish or something like that, one of those things? So everyone on the island can get their TV signal? Oh, 
OK, steady back round to the right hand side. We've got flat fives now. Try and bleed some speed off. Below 10,000 feet. What am I doing? So let's get those on. <coughs> it should be to our right there it is there look right I have got like five percent of AI aircraft on so with a bit of look they won't be in the way but pretend they're not there if they are in the way right let's see what sort of frame drop we get with this scenery this aircraft and my recording software might be nothing, might be something, let's find out. So Orbix actually have done a very good job of, with these lights. They are, like I say, they're still not as good as uh, X planes, but I'm, I'm impressed. It's a lot better than default night lighting, which is quite frankly horrid. Ooh. Pardon me. Shh. Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. I know, I can see that big mountain in front of me. We're fine. We're going to keep going towards it. Start banking right now. This is guesswork. I've never flown into here. Ever. And I've not read the charts either because quite frankly I'm an amateur getting quite bad at this. We should put that through the PA system. See what the passengers think. Talking to passengers. Let's uh have we got one for landing? Approach, there we go. Ah, oh, shut up. Right. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Gear down. Terrain. Flaps 10. We're going to get that buzz until the gear is out, unfortunately. There we go. Oh, we're getting uh, frame spikes. They're not a consistent drop, they're just spikes. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. So this landing could be awful. I'll do my best. Yeah, it's jumping from 21 to 30. I don't know why. Too high, still far too high. I have to listen to that for a second because I need to get down here. I need to lose speed and height. Five Sounds like someone's robbing my Sink house. Rate. Sink rate. Yeah, thank you. Sink rate. Thank you. Sink rate. Can you keep mentioning that. I'll take that. That wasn't too bad, considering the uh, it was a high approach, and I had slight graphical drops. Nothing major, uh, but I did have drops. Um, 
Yeah, no, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. But this is Corfu, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this is Fly Tampa's Corfu, which is why it looks incredible. Like, all of their scenery just looks awesome. So here we are, Corfu. In the Dash 8. In this little beast. Have a go at saying that if you're not Greek. <laughs> right, okay. We'll just park up anywhere, I think. That'll do, everyone goes straight upstairs then. Are we supposed to go off that way? I think we're supposed to come the other way. It's fine, I'm going to park here. Okay, I think that'll do. There we go. Need that. And there we are, there's Corfu. Not the worst land in the world, not the best land in the world. I'll take it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching once again. Until next time, take care.